I'm Alec. I'm Jackie. And, and we, we have, have a mouse problem. problem. There it is, 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 there it is! Tonight, a new study reveals that putting water in an empty soap bottle totally counts as soap and won't give us all dysentery or anything. Also, ten new reasons why I'm not giving money to your shitty-ass folk band Kickstarter. But first, let's check in with roommate Sarah on the mouse crisis. Sarah, are you there? I'm moving out. Sarah, is it true that the mouse is still at large? Seriously, I'm leaving. Uh-huh. And are there any leads as to where the mouse may be hiding? I need my mugs back. Sounds good. Thank you, Sarah. And now, a new segment of To Catch a Fat Ass. This week on To Catch a Fat Ass, we stole roommate Sarah's phone to lure an unsuspecting fat ass to the kitchen. Hey, Rumi. For your FYI, there's a birthday cake for my Gma in the fridge. All alone and delicious. Sitting there by itself. Just waiting to be put in a mouth. Don't eat it, though. LOL. Okay. With the bait set, apartment 8 authorities wait to spring into action. Hello? The fat ass, realizing she's alone, immediately goes for the cake. However, with no clean forks, the fat ass must use a pair of tongs to eat the cake while huddled over the trash. I'm going in. Hi there. Hi. I'm Alex with Department 8 News. Can you please take a seat? No. Yeah. Tell me, Jackie, what were your intentions with this birthday cake? This cake? Yeah, You weren't going to eat the whole thing? <laughs> What's in the bag? Mm -hmm. A half gallon of milk and vanilla ice cream. Hey, freeze! Stop eating it! And now we go to roommate Sarah for a mouse crisis update. Sarah? I really need my mugs back. Terrific! Thanks, Sarah. Up next, an in-depth look at the horrific aftermath of Slutnado. Jackie? Thank you, Jackie. Eyewitnesses report a Class 5 Slutnado touched down outside of Apartment 8 at 4 a.m. last night, leaving a trail of used condoms, trashy panties, and a box of white Zinfandel in its wake. Next, the Slutnado moved to the kitchen, where it destroyed six zucchinis, a bottle of ranch dressing, and a roll of saran wrap. From there, the Slutnado moved into the bathroom, the closet, the dining room table, the hallway floor, in my car, back to the closet, on the stove, and into the bedroom, where it deposited the remainder of its debris. Massage oil, a candle, steel wool, an electric toothbrush, hot sauce, dental floss, pliers, a whisk, jumper cables, Blade Runner collector's edition, a vacuum, and a six-speed blender duct taped to a flashlight. Truly a sad day for all of Apartment 8. Awful. And to think that all of this could have been avoided if we... Alex? Sources say I'm gonna light your dumbass teddy bear on fire. Sources say you put Barry Honeyberg down right now or so help me God, I will end you! Sources say I'm gonna watch him burn and then piss on his charred corpse. Sources say you're an emotional cripple who's incapable of any personal growth or connection to another human being. Sources say you're an attention-starved sexual void whose only source of real feeling is posting to Reddit gone wild. Sources say. Sources say. Sources say. Sources say. Sources say. Sources. 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 All set, I've got my mugs. Oh. One more thing. Someday, somewhere, somehow, I'm going to ruin your lives. I'm going to do everything in my power possible to make sure you suffer in ways you couldn't imagine. And I'm not going to stop until you're as miserable as you've made me.